Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be a what I watch. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I decided to do one so I got some stuff to talk to you about. Starting first one, I want to see this movie for the very longest time, and it's called Saturday Night Fever. Um, John Travolta does a really good job in this movie. I really loved it. Um, I'm looking forward to getting this in my collection at some point. Then we got a movie here I've got from the library. This is called Tag. It's pretty much about these guys. Since they were like little kids, they've pretty much been playing Tag. It's actually based on a true story. And when they pretty much get older, they're pretty much, they're still playing Tag. So when one of the guys is having like interview with somebody, he has to leave to go play Tag. So the, the news reporter actually comes with him so she can actually write the story about this whole tag thing. And it's really funny. It's really enjoyable. I gotta get this movie in my collection. Really good movie right here. Then we have Spring Break Massacre. I really like this one. This one was also on Tubi. If you guys have not heard of Tubi, you guys need to check it out. You get free movies, but there's there's commercials. But they got some really good movies on there. A lot of weird ones on there too. But I recommend Tubi to you guys. And then I watched... I think I watched this one on the, the Roku channel. This was uh, The Man from Utah. That's another one where you can watch free movies and stuff and just have commercials into it. That was a good uh, John Wayne movie. You guys know that I'm fairly new with John Wayne. Every movie I've watched of his, I actually enjoyed. So, there's that one. Then I watched this movie called When the West Was Young. This was a, a, a Western movie from the 40s. I think it was 44. It was really good. There was, there was some parts where it was like they'd be talking and it would like freeze, but they'd still be talking. And if they were walking, you could hear them walking, but they were just froze. It was a really good, really good Western movie. I really enjoyed it. And then we have an Elvis movie. I watched uh, G.I. Blues. This was a really, really good movie. It's pretty much about Elvis. He's pretty much in the, in the army. And he pretty much, the guys that is with him, they pretty much dare him that he can, he has to get with this girl and be along with her. And then it's like this big old bat. Well, towards the end of the movie, you know, he decides, you know what, he started to like this girl a lot. So he doesn't want to do the bet no more. So, it's a really good movie. This is another person that I'm fairly new watching his movies and I want to get a lot more of his. So, what else we got here? Then we have Jersey Shore Massacre. This was really good. This has Sean C. Phillips into it, aka Cool Duder. It also had Ron Jeremy into it. It's pretty much about these, pretty much about these groups of kids that they're supposed to go to this this cabin thing, and Ron Jeremy runs it. And when they get there, there's other people there that already took their spot. So they they come to Ron Jeremy and say, "What the hell's going on? You know, how come we don't have this place?" So they end up going into this other place. And stuff happens. There's this one guy. He's he he's very funny. He laughs like eh, like that. It, it, it always cracks me up when I hear him laughing like that. Really good uh, slasher move, like slasher movie. Look, the kills are awesome in this movie. I really really liked it. And Sean did a really good job in that movie too. And then then I watched uh, Scooby Doo and the Sword of Scoob. This is our original movie. This is a pretty good movie. It's pretty much about them going to. Uh, I think like England or something. And then there's all kinds of stuff that happens to it. But I really, really like it. The only thing that got me weird about it was uh, they had like cell phones and they had like selfie sticks. But you got to remember this was a new uh, Scooby-Doo movie. So and it also includes three episodes. You get one from the 70s and you get two from the 60s. So that was kind of cool to watch that. I got this one from the library. I wouldn't mind getting this one in my collection. No one I'd watch again. And then I did a watch and review for this movie. So if you guys want to hear my thoughts about it, I'll put the, the link in the description. You guys can go check it out. And that is Just Friends. Really, really funny movie. Actually, I haven't seen this movie in a long time, but I decided to, to throw it in and check it out. And then the last movie I watched, I finally got to watch, and that is My Python and the Holy Grail. This is a movie that I want to see forever and then I finally seen it that I had it on Netflix and I was telling a couple of my friends at work and they were talking about how funny it was and stuff and and yeah it was great another one I want to get my collection at some point but that's all the movies that 
I talk about in this video. If you guys like it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, join the fam nation, and I'll check you next morning. Peace.